Hello Scrappers, let me show you what I have here today. This is a CPU, maybe you will not. It's a very old CPU. Maybe you can read here, it's written Pentium 3 Xeon. So this CPU, if we go to the service information on top, this is Intel Pentium 3 Xeon 700 MHz made in 1999 in Philippines. Actually, it has the original Foxconn core on top. And I have not one, I have two of them. So, why I deal with this ridiculous CPUs at all? Because this is one of the main sources of palladium for me. Let me show you what I mean. I'll keep this one aside and I will open the second one because I already scrapped it not to waste your time looking at me how I do it. So this is the CPU itself. It's a huge board and here we go. Let's have a closer look at it. You see these rows of MLCCs? These MLCCs are really good quality ones because usually on the CPUs you have the best quality components you can find in a computer. So this is one core, 700 megahertz. This is the memory I see. These small ones contain good amount of gold. I usually collect them. Uh, this gold plating is more than good. You, much more than in a RAM stick, as you can see. And huge number of MLCCs of different sizes. So these are the, the rows with the big ones, but also a look at these small MLCCs. And on the other side, it's the same story. No big ones, but maybe 100 small MLCCs. And how you distinguish, how you understand that this is capacitor, this is not some other kind of element on, on this CPU. You can check this by the letter C. So let me zoom in a little. So if you see C and a number, this means capacitor and this number is just for the uh, guiding which cir circuit this capacitor is serving to. So, uh, and under BGAs like here, because here is the CPU on the other side, usually you have no option to write C, but when you look at the color and when you look at the size of the elements, they're exactly the same as the ones that are marked as capacitors. So these are the, the same MLCCs as this one here. Let's go back to the other side. As I said, really nice board, high quality elements, and I have two of them. So what I would like to do, I would like to uh, basically remove all these MLCCs and to check how much in grams I can get from two uh, CPUs. Let's start. Okay, so let's quickly scrap this CPU just to show you how easy it is. And we can remove the MLCCs from it. You see, plastic goes really uh, quickly off. And what we have to remove this heat sink, we just have to twist to twist a little this uh, metal support on the back side, like this. Number one, this is number two, and basically this is everything that holds this CPU to the heat sink. Now, because we also have some good amount of thermal conducting material here, you see, this is the silver one. We have just to be careful because you can easily get really dirty with it. But basically in two seconds you scrap one of these CPUs and you reach the board. It's really easy. Now let's go to the MLCCs. How I scrap them? Different ways. You can use a screwdriver, you just put it in between and you twist and then twisting the screwdriver 
you're removing them. Some people, for the big ones, they use different instruments, tweezers, other stuff. Most of the time I use my chisel because with the chisel it's really quick. You see what happened and uh, you can easily go into this really, really tiny uh, space between them. So that's how I do. You just push a little and you remove them really quickly. So same here and two are removed. Just update a little and everything is done. That's how it works. And for the last ones, you can just twist a little. So, you see how quickly it, 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 it works? You have a pile of MLCCs in a second. But then everyone will say, it's really easy when they're big. What happens when they're small? Like this row here. When they're small, you, you do exactly the same. But, of course, you have to be careful to remove only MLCCs, not other elements. Because after you mess up MLCCs with other elements, it's really difficult to separate them. So now, I will just move these small ones into the box where the rest of the MLCC is. And I'll continue doing this until I remove all of them from these two boards. Okay guys, so these are the CPUs after removing all the MLCCs. Using chisel, it's really quick, it's really easy and clean. You see, no other elements affected, only MLCCs removed. I did it for both and I also did it on the other side, so everything here is clean now. Let's see the result. I prepared my scale and this small paper basket. So let's first zero the scale and let's see how much we have. Sixteen grams. Okay, from two CPUs. From two CPUs, 16 grams. This means eight grams per CPU. And these are high quality CPU MLCCs. Considering that it took me maybe two, three minutes per CPU to scrub, depopulate, remove the MLCCs, I haven't seen other source of MLCCs that gives so quickly, so good quality stuff. That's for me. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping, and don't forget, recover your gold and silver at the end, sometimes by day. Bye!